Coming to you from Applied Technology High School. This is AT Talks. Hey guys, I'm Maria. I'm Megan. Today's October 10th, 2022. It's a great day to be at night, and I hope the freshmen are settling into our, their new school. Now let's get straight into the video. Hey ATHS, it's Tatum here with the joke of the day. So, why do math books always look so sad? Because they're filled with problems. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a great week. Hey THS, I'm Emily and I'm here to talk about the importance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Everyone knows that once October hits, you mostly see the color pink. However, many are not aware of the roots and importance behind it. Breast Cancer Awareness Month was first created in 1985 in a partnership between the American Cancer Society and the Pharmaceutical Division of Imperial Chemical Industries. Betty Ford, a former first lady and survivor of breast cancer, started a week-long event to bring attention to breast cancer and fundraise for research and potentially a cure. The early goal of Breast Cancer Awareness Month was to educate women about breast cancer and early detection tests so that they could take charge of their breast health. It was to especially promote mammograms to help fight against breast cancer. Now, the month of October is dedicated to raising funds for breast cancer research, sharing survivor stories, and celebrating those who have overcome breast cancer. So why pink? Well, the infamous pink ribbon was actually inspired by other famous awareness ribbons. It started in 1979 when a wife of a hostage who had been taken in Iran was inspired to tie yellow ribbons around the trees in her front yard, hoping to see her husband come home again. This idea was adopted by AIDS activists 11 years later, where they made the yellow ribbons red to bring awareness to AIDS survivors and victims. At last, the company Susan G. Komen chose to symbolize breast cancer with a pink ribbon in memoriam to the founder, Nancy G. Brinker's sister, who died of breast cancer. To get involved with breast cancer awareness, try your best to donate to cancer research facilities, educate yourselves on breast cancer stories and experiences, and even just wear pink to show your support. I hope you all learned something new, and next time you see a pink ribbon, remember what it stands for. Thank you, and have a great week. Hey, DHS, I'm Manny, and I'm here to talk about the Walk for Women's Cancer event at BCC. The event was from, from the Lewin Fund to help fight women's cancer and it raised over $65,000. Some things that happened were that the, the Paramus mayor, Richard LaBarbiera, kicked off the event at BCC. The national anthem was sung by Felicia Temple, who is a singer and songwriter. And many students and families went to the event and supported the cause. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you around. All right, guys, that concludes this week's AT Talks video. We hope to see you all next Monday, and have an amazing week.